For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Hey everyone, and it is episode four of Watchmen, and we had a hell of an episode last time. Uh, basically, the episode completely followed Laurie um, on her adventures and dealing with our main cast, and she, she was basically sent to investigate the death of Judd. Um, and she was interviewing all the our people. She was interviewing uh, LG, Looking Glass, and Angela. And she's like, hey, you know, you know what I found in Judd's? You know what you found there, because you were there. Uh, so she was kind of on top of everything. She kind of knew what was going on, sort of. She found the um, the the wheelchair tracks in the in the grass. So, yeah. She kind of clashed as well, personality-wise, with Angela. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they how their relationship develops. I don't think sh- this episode will be focused on her so much. I think basically last episode was just an introduction to her, and now she'll also be a part of the cast. Um, and... In the other thing, the other news, the other side of things, we uh, we had the fantastical adventures of Adrian, um, who is building, he's doing plays, he's making contraptions, and he's also a prisoner. Now, I don't know if he's trying to maybe escape from this prison somehow. Maybe all of this is... Maybe he's testing out different ways of you know, maybe escaping using uh, Mr. Phillips and uh, Miss Crookshanks as his aides. Um, but there's also there also seems to be a warden there keeping him in line. So it's a complicated dynamic, and that story is, let's just say, slightly complicated, um, but I love it. And it, the more we get to see that, the better. Um because I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. You know, bring it on. Uh, she used to be married to Dr. Manhattan. And last episode, she was on the phone to him. Um, a phone to Mars. And she told him a few jokes. One particularly telling long joke that, uh, you know, is, is, uh, I don't know how much of a sense of humor he has, but, it was very pointed, and it was like half a joke and half a look. This is this is what I think of us four, um, the four in her picture frame. Uh, the only one that we haven't seen, well, no, we haven't seen, we haven't really seen Doctor Manhattan, but we haven't seen the Owl guy either. So I don't know if he's going to be in this series or if it's he's just like part of the the history, the landscape of the show of the movie, of the comics, you know, so. But I'll keep him in my head. Owl Guy, Ozymandias, which I presume is Adrian, and Dr. Manhattan and her. So those are the four of the past. We also have Rorschach, who is also of the past. And we, in the present, we now have Seventh Cavalry. We have Panda Guy. We have, we haven't seen Panda Guy in a while. That's disappointing. They should. He needs to get to his onto his agent and be like, "Hey, where's my scenes? I got this. I, I bought this thing, you know, and and for nothing." So yeah. So without further ado, I think we should get into episode four. Four. It's episode four, and uh, see what it has in store for us. Where the war's at, and I won't be leaving till it's won. Run! Oh yeah, that that thing happened. The the bomb. Eggs. This music is totally copyrighted, so I'm just gonna bop my head and not uh, include it. Sounds like Dolly Parton. 
they are making a Van Gogh puzzle. Wait, who are these guys? Who, who is this couple? Who on earth could that be? Well, who are you? Are you the Clarks? Oh, they're so dead. Just say yeah. no. You're the billionaire building the big clock down the road. Clockmaker. You don't come out. Actually, I'm a trillionaire. Fortunately, for the next three minutes, you two are the most important people in the world. No pressure. It's just a trillionaire. It's an egg timer. I want your house. Egg right timer. Now. Okay, give us a few million and sell it or you're dead. I got rich making advanced pharma and biomedical tech. Among my holdings are thousands of clinics, one being Sooner Fertility Partners, right here in Tulsa. Oh. Ten years ago, you two went there and tried to get pregnant. She can make it happen for them. What? I'm not going to make you a baby. I already did. She took her eggs and his sperm and she, she made it work. I've placed five million dollars in an account that should cover your relocation five million. costs and done. You know, baby. She's been more than generous with them. If they end up rejecting, then <laughs> he's got your eyes. Got to break a few eggs to make an novel. I'll have no other choice but to destroy the baby. Guys, I'm joking. I'll find a loving home for him. She's John. John. persuasive, and they're not stupid. Um, the aliens don't approve. If you don't like my story, write your own. This music is not copyrighted. Probably. More of a beat. I think Angela comes with her own beat. She's also a fan of eggs. I wish I could buy eggs and then be offered five million. I don't need the child, just, just the five million will do. She's getting rid of the Evans. Volunteer fire department. Just give me a moment to encode your acorn. And your acorn. See, in the future, it's not Blu-ray, it's not, you know, any advanced optics. Acorns. Oh, I get, oh, I get it, because it, it's a tree, it's it's symbolic. Ancestry. This, this episode's all about the puns. You said you wanted me to know where I came from. Now I know. So wherever you are, leave me the fuck alone. She's sentimental. Oh, they're in the same spot. <laughs> She's like instantly on it. Miss something. What's in the bottle? This episode's all about eggs. It fell under the sky. What are we gonna do about these eggs? She said. Whoa, whoa, what's what's going on? Topher said that Uncle Jack didn't go to heaven when he blowed up. Sweetheart, heaven is ten. So. Okay, who wants waffles? Me. Angela. Howdy. Oh. Is this is where he lives. What can I do you for? What can I do you for? What are these? No, no. I was hoping you could ask your ex. We have a lab down at the precinct. Your ex has a lab that's not at the precinct. And she is indeed my ex. Eggs. Told me it was eggs. This episode's all about eggs. Only if it relates to the murder of our beloved chief of police. You know he was a racist? He was a white man in Oklahoma. He hid it in his closet. You reckon he was cavalry? You reckon he was? It's interesting that she's so open with him. 
for school. It shows tr trust. See, she has a beat when, when she goes into this mode. She comes with her own beat. I want my own beat when I'm just walking around. Oh, it's the music from first episode. This is just normal. The fuck? Hey! This is the really, really thin alien looking person in a silver suit. How are you gonna get away? Ooh, no, 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 I don't like this. Could I set themselves on fire? Whoa, that, mmm. Just made themselves greasy so that they could slide in? Oh, it's this guy. Hello there. I'm just gonna say that every time he comes on screen. Oh, it's this guy. You saved my life, Angela, right? Everybody knows. Oh, am I not supposed to know who you are? I'll do that. You have a nice day, Detective. See, he's treating her like... He's treating her like they're no, on opposite sides. Like this. But the Tall, first time skinny, they met, they were like really friendly, so it's... You're in. This is yeah, why I don't trust him. He, he doesn't have consistent kind of oil. vibes. It all over. Come in. She moves fast. But there was another set of prints. Mystery prints. I mean, it could be anybody who'd been in your car. You know, a friend or whatever. But you don't strike me as the kind of person who has friends. <gasps> Someone named Will William Reeves. Spring any bells? Ring a bell? My math, he has to be a hundred or a hundred years old by now. And do you know how hundred year olds tend to get around, Angela? Hmm. Wheelchair. Don't you know? Oh. I just... What is it, Petey? I like they kept him around, too. No judgment. I used to dress up and fight bad guys, too. Oh, really? And what was your trauma? Petey, go ahead. Tell her. Uh, what? Petey's kind of an expert on me. Lower. I need, I need lower. Come on. Agent Blake's parents were the comedian and... Silk Spectre. Oh. They're both in the minute. In the real world, the comedian sexually assaulted Silk Spectre back in the 40s. He, her dad tried to rape her mom. Yeah, we got that. Woo! I like the look of that. I don't know what it is, but. Is it a giant clock? But in this case, she'd like to invite you to have tea in her vivarium. Is she 12 years May old? I show you the way? Ooh la la. So sorry. Ladies only. He's sort of feminine, like... I'll, uh, wait in the car. What does it do? It tells time. It's a clock. Is it like the world's largest sundial? I'm Lady True. She's gonna start calling her Angela because everybody knows who she is. On her deathbed, my mother made me promise I would never leave Vietnam, so I found a loophole. Now Vietnam never leaves me. Oh, Angela knows all about Vietnam. Detective Knight here is from Vietnam as well. Really? What a coincidence. A question about grief I remember from when I was little. Huh. I remember one from when I was little too. <laughs> you probably it, the subtitles are probably too small to read, but that was funny. Oh, are we going? We're going. This is it. This is what I live for. He's on a boat. It's dark. Let's go. Let's do it. Ah, what are these things? Little babies? Is this where he grows like Mr. Phillips and... I don't know if I want to know. I didn't want to see that, but I don't know if I want to know. 
oh, this is like going to speed up their development. He's going to put in the baby, going to press a button, and naked Mrs. Adults person going to come right up. Right. See? My mind is in tune. He's got two. They've got a... New replacements. You can't trick me. I, I know. I know. I know now. Just gotta spin them around for a while. It's like a microwave. Ah! No candles! And there they are. And they're naked. While I may be your master, I am most definitely not your maker. <laughs> Well, I apologize for the mess. Four candles. That's it. That's the episode. The episode saved. There's the catapults from that I was talking about last episode. Now it's going to hit a force field or some sort of barrier. Okay. That's the limit of the cage. So he's like charting out the boundaries. Four years. Four years since I was sent here. Way or another, I will escape this godforsaken. This is exactly what I was talking about. But where is he? It could, he could be anywhere. He could be inside a simulation, he could be on the moon, he could be on Mars, he could be on an island. He could be in Manhattan for all we know. I think she wants to help you. I think so too. Why? It's just a feel like maybe she knows how to find him. See, we saw her vul vulnerable in the last episode, so we're sort of. I can of find him all by myself. More. Okay. We have more empathy towards her than she was at this point. But they're both on the right side, both on the. Meet you in the closet. Whatever the good side is. I had a nightmare. I was in a village. Men came and burned it. My feet still hurt. She's having very I'm realistic dreams. dreams, and there's Angela's grandfather just chilling. Good night, young lady. I wonder if he'll get out of his wheelchair at some point. When family's involved, judgment gets cloudy, feet get cold, deals get broken. You're not in. Mm -hmm. He's in. Whatever it is. My feet are just fine. Oh, he got up of after after me saying, I wonder if he's gonna get out of the wheelchair. He gets up and I'm like <laughs> I am in. All the way. They're like, you'll watch the next episode. Tick -tock. We set this up. Tick -tock. Tick -tock. This TikTok thing again. <gasps> episode four of Watchmen with four candles. Now, four candles. Uh, four, four candles. candles. For folks. Four four. <laughs> That's the most important thing. When when I thought there wasn't going to be one, I was like, "This episode sucks." But then we saw them. So, and all the things that I was like talking about, like the catapult last episode, and then I was like, "Oh, I wonder if he's going to get up out of his wheelchair." Um, it's very kind of gratifying when things that I'm expecting to happen happen it's like yeah 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 it's like i'm getting it i'm getting it. your brain sort of adjusts to the show and then you can start to anticipate what's coming and kind of understand what's what's going on 
Um, I don't understand what's going on with the trillionaire's daughter. Uh, like, we know that she grows children, so she could have grown that. She could have grown, like, an identical copy of herself and implanted her own memories into... You know what? Let's just say she's her daughter and she's having weird dreams for now. And let's not speculate about anything further. Um... And what they have planned, who knows? They're building a giant clock. So we'll leave it there. It looks cool. I don't know why it needs to be giant. It needs to be giant because it's the first wonder of the new world. Um, she's a big fan of Adrian. And he went missing. He went missing. They didn't say that he was imprisoned. So people don't really... Or it's not common knowledge what happened to him. So from the outside perspective... And he's been there for four years. And he's trying to get out. Perfect. Let's keep trying. Let's sacrifice as many people as we can. Figure out a way out of there. Um, and yeah, I think the catapult thing was just to test the how high it was. How the the length, the time, the you know, he was he was calcul he was working it out with his telescope. Um, Angela's having slight issues with her her husband. Yeah, he doesn't like lying. He had to lie to Laurie to keep the secrets. And oh, and I loved, I've mentioned it already in the reaction, but I love that Angela trusts LG enough to basically tell him everything. Like, hey, Judd, found this. And now she's like, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean what you think it means, but it could. And she's like, will you keep it? And he's like, yeah, I'll keep it hidden from Laurie. And she's like, cool. So, yeah, there, yeah, two episodes ago, I thought, you know, is he trying to read her? It's, you know, is that going to be a thing? But, you know, they're, they're on the same page. So, so this, this show is a fun ride and, the egg people didn't get killed. No, we didn't. We didn't see them get killed. So I'm going to presume they're living fine with their five million and their kids. Um, for me, that was a test, actually, test of the trillionaire girl. Like, if she killed them, then definitely evil. Well, not definitely. Definitely, at least morally gray. But she kind of went out of her way for them. She didn't need to. Um, for someone with that much power and influence. So, yeah. Looking forward to next week. We might see what's going to happen. It might be three days later. And we might find out more things. And we'll see the ongoing adventures of Adrian trying to escape from his shackles. And five candles. Five that's what, that's what we need. Okay. Thank you for watching. It's um, It's been a pleasure as always. And I will see you guys and gals next week.